It would appear that business is about to pick up as concerns lawsuits, as concerns uh, defamation of character, as concerns a lot of different things going on right now. Because amidst rumors that Destination America is planning to cancel Impact Wrestling, TNA has issued a statement and has threatened possible legal action. It has come to our attention, states TNA Impact Wrestling, that several internet news sources have falsely attributed statements to TNA, its executives and broadcasting partner. These false, these false statements constitute defamation, and if necessary, we will seek all legal remedies available to us, said the statement. Now, yesterday, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reported that Destination America planned to cancel TNA Impact, uh, with the source being an internal email among employees at the channel. Uh, on Wrestling Observer Live today, Brian Alvarez said that the email was dated several days prior to Destination America announcing Impact would be moving to Wednesdays. And Dave Meltzer of The Observer noted that this is very much an ongoing situation. And on top of that, Eric Bischoff, Garrett Bischoff, and Jason Harvey are suing TNA Impact Wrestling. So you got to wonder, is Dave Meltzer going to be the one being sued? But now he's saying it's an ongoing situation. So does that change the entire impact of this situation? Listen, I don't want to see TNA, TNA Impact go out of business. Now, yeah, and I may not be the biggest TNA Impact Wrestling fan, but you know what? It's healthy for the business. It's healthy for there to be competition because then it forces the issue. It forces you to not just go through the motions. And while I may be a WWE fan, at no time do I want to wish death or see TNA Impact go out of business. Now, remember, the rumors in the report stated yesterday that, uh, you know, Destination America was going to cancel, but that was the rumors. And it's our prerogative as fans to come on here and give our views and our opinions under fair use for comment and criticism and commentary and state what we feel. Now, here's the thing I don't get about Impact Wrestling. As much as I may not be the biggest fan of them, but I've given them chance. I've given them opportunities. I've tried to watch their content on Destination America. And some of the shows are noteworthy. Some of the shows are worth watching. Some some shows I don't like. Some shows I do like. The same goes for WWE. There are some nights I'm not feeling it. There are some, time, there are some nights I'm just saying, well, why am I sitting back and putting myself through this? But, you know, it is what it is. If you don't like a certain product, you don't watch it. But once again, I, it's my opinion to come on here and give my view and my opinion of what I feel, what I think, and what I see. And what I'm seeing right now is, is, is desperation. You know how they say desperate times call for des desperate measures? We hear of all the time about all the rumors of TNA and their bad checks and not paying their wrestlers. Why is Eric Bischoff suing TNA Impact Wrestling? What's going on with the Bischoff suing TNA? Um, you know, what, what's this with the bounce checks? What's this with the late payments? I mean, here's the thing. TNA is willing to sue, okay? They're willing to, to put out lawsuits, but yet they can't afford to pay their wrestlers, but they're going to go out and afford a lawyer. There's just a lot of things to me that's not adding up. And I, I'll tell you what, once again, I, I don't wish death upon any wrestling because you know what? You have a family to provide for. You have to put food on the table. You have to provide for your children. And I understand that there's a lot of impact players and the WWE has already went out and said that, well, this was a rumor, another rumor again. Which is what I cover on here. Rumors, gossip, and speculation. That's what I talk about in headlines as well, in breaking news. But but here's the thing about Impact Wrestling. I think they just need to focus on what's ahead of them and what's in front of them and not talk about and think about legal action on, on certain news websites and certain fans who are just giving their views and their opinions. They're talking about defamation of character, but yet... You want to talk about defamation of character. What about not paying your talent on time? What about the bad checks? What about all the other problems that are impacting TNA at this time? Like I said, TNA, you know, they've been struggling for a long time, but they've always been able to find a way to stay afloat. They've always been, uh, they've always been able to find a way to, uh, you know, stand the test of time. And I hope they do it again. I hope time has not caught up to TNA. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. What do we believe? Is Impact Wrestling going out? Uh, are we calling them bluff? Is TNA really having major problems? Or is everything all hunky-dory? Is everything all fine with TNA? Is there more to this than meets the eye? Subscribe.